I am Michael Matthews. Welcome to Wheeled World. This is uh, the May 15th continuation of the drop-in gauntlet role-playing game campaign where players play both a myst ancient item of mystical power, a vacha, as well as the wielder of another person's vacha. If each of you just want to introduce yourselves real quick and who your vacha and wielder is, then we will be able to start. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, the Vacha that I'm playing is an, a part of empowered staff named Aradu. And as Aradu, I have, uh, I control the domains of animal, plant, and water. And Aradu is raison de terror, or reason for existence. I probably totally mispronounced that. <laughs> raison de <It's>, terror. <laughs> my ra yeah, my terror reason, yes. <laughs> uh, is to create a new garden of paradise. And the wielder that I'm playing is Vuk Clayton. He is a seer. He's impulsive, and I added the personality trait of rugged because, uh, well, his destiny is to summon a forest demon. So I envision him as kind of kind of a woodsy um, demonologist type, I guess. So they tend to be rugged, right? And those are my characters. Okay, hi. Um, I'm Jessica. I'm uh, Y'all call me Daisy. Um, I'm playing Shomrag, the cape, um, with the domain of water, illusion, and control. And their goal is to create a kingdom on the sea. Uh, the uh, wielder that I'm playing is Drasluth, wielding airy dew. Uh, kind of my first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. The stuff. And I am looking real quick to see if I can just find a. If, if you have a picture of a cape or something that you oh, want that you want to you. use, I can. It, it can be useful sometimes just to put it on the world map to know here is where you are. Oh yeah, I never I never added a pick for my character either. Yeah, I I I, I found like a generic staff thing and I just put that there. So there is one hanging out on the. I want to know if we can name that Fertile Island. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we have named it yet. Yeah, so we might be able to get to it. Yeah, if, if you... I'm not finding a... Oddly enough, I'm not finding this picture of a cape. Lots of cape things. <laughs> um, not a good cape picture. If, you, if you've got one, you can put the like a URL in the channel down and throw it onto the board. Can you have them? <laughs> So both of you can kind of have a say in this. How long ago do you think, um, put up here, how long do you think Vuk has been with, uh, and it's Samurai? Siomrag. Yeah. Siomrag? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, how long do you think Vuk has been with um, Siomrag? Uh, well, one thing is, I know uh, right now Vuk hasn't gotten a lot of powers from. Uh, yeah, from not Superman, a so. long time, but. We, we could also start with uh, Vuk finding. Yeah, well, let's see what uh, you're. If you're creating a, uh, a kingdom, of, a kingdom of water. Do we want to go with uh, like, sh like having luck find Siomrag? Sounds like fun. Okay. All right. Do that. So, uh, Siomrag, you, your previous wielder died in Aleholt. Aleholt is sort of upper right of the center. If you do happen to notice, the, again, all some, someone asked in the last game, well, I don't know what the, the, the various cultures are behind any of these. Neither do I. Um, <laughs> these things on them. So as of yet, until we've used them, there's not really a, a, a culture as such. Um, you may notice south of that, there is kind of a weirdness in the ocean. That used to be um, uh, Diluvia, which was a, like a, a small little continent island thing that got sunk by the gods. So the ill hold itself, largely forested. <clears throat> your, your wielder had been... Um, 
shot and killed by bandits, and the bandits actually did not come further into the forest to find it because there are other things that sometimes wander in these areas. Um, check this. So, Buck, what has taken you deep into the heart of the forest? And this the sort of ancient, um, primitive forest that many of your people stay out of. Oh, well, I'm uh, hoping to uh, summon a forest team, of, of course. Okay. Uh, what have you taken? What have you taken with you for the ritual to try to summon it? Hmm. Uh, a very rare, um, a very rare purple calf. Okay. For the sacrifice. Um. You, you're going deep in, looking for sort of a place of power that we found somewhere deep inside of the forest. Um, Simarag, you. You feel a like what seems like a good potential wielder coming nearby. You can feel his mind as he's making his way further in. You can also tell he's looking for magic and, and power of some sort. Why are uh, why are you trying to summon the forest team? Uh because mm -hmm. I've uh because the uh, I'm finding that my my as I've gotten on in age, my well, yeah. I, well, no, I'm, I don't think I'm. I'm probably yeah. Maybe I, I'm probably um, yeah. I'll say early sixties. Um, and his ability to uh, spry the future on his own is starting to get cloudy. Okay. So he's looking for uh, some additional help in that regard. All right. Yeah, so Samurai, you, you 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 can sense him coming closer. You have been attached to the skeleton of this of your previous wielder, who was not nearly what you've been hoping for in a wielder for a long time. And in, in a in a forest where because of things go through it, many people stay far far away. Do you wish to reach out to him? Oh, um. Yes. Okay. If you speak, he will hear you. If you reach out. Um. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> if, that, if that's you. <laughs> Here's a good one. Uh, come closer. I uh, approach very, uh, uh, very cautiously. I'm surprised that even before, before I've reached the proper place oh. of sacrifice, that the demon has already spoken out to me. But I do approach, guiding the, the calf with me. So mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I didn't see the mic, the mic that came up. So. Yeah, if you find one you want, let me know, or if you like one of those. But otherwise, for right now, we'll keep going. I was going to put it on there, but okay. I've I've, I've I threw up a second link because I'm I'm interesting. I'm gaming. I'm interesting at the same time. Um, but uh, yes, yeah. So that you, if you go, you said you, you go over that direction. Uh, I do. Yeah, there there's a cape on a on an old skeleton. You want to describe what the cape looks like in your in your eye? Um, it's a black cape with gold lining and plenty of pictures without him in it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the cape, not dude. It's got a, uh, like a very high collar. Oh, that's right. You're you're going after the um, Captain Harlock model. Yeah, it's not working. Can't find a picture. Wait. Wait. Ooh, I might have something. About to post the link. Now. 
Pinterest. I think it's the same. Okay, let's see the back of it. No button. Don't care. So that loads up. Yeah, it's a very awesome looking cape. Mm -hmm. yes. It's uh, like red lining. And golden uh, rim, I guess. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Old skull and crossbones clasp. Yeah. Come here, put me on. I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you're aware of is that the sort of cap that he's brought out, the only sort of thing of the forest you can summon with it is going to be something that will probably eat both it and him pretty quickly, unless he has a great deal of power, which you're guessing probably not. Hmm. If he did, he'd probably recognize more what you are. Yeah, as far as I as as far as you can tell, I still think you're some kind of just like simple provincial uh, forest demon, some two bit, you know, minor, not even a god. And I'm uh, as I as I approach the cape, I, it seems is the cape like just floating before me. It's uh, attached to a skeleton, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The, the the dead wielder. Yeah. Ah, yes. So well, already I'm, you know, like like any good uh, quest for power, I'm learning to defile the, you know, break taboos and defile the the remains of the dead. Is I remove the skeleton, and I'm sure as I, I try to, maybe I've tried to remove it as gingerly as possible. But as soon as I touch it, I I, I envision the thing kind of just falling to pieces. Um, Very dramatically, yeah. <laughs> and then I I slip the cape on. And I, uh, I, I, be, I beseech you to grant me uh, um, knowledge of the future as I as I slip you on. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> what, you know, my observation of Wield is, you know, when you're playing both he, humans and the characters that he or the the artifacts that humans are wielding or or using in various ways. It, it can it can get a little the, the subtext. There could be a lot of like unintended uh, creep creep in in the dialogue. Um, I I found that out myself the hard way when I when I uh, was in your in your in your position playing the the vacha to another character who was just discovering it. But uh, yeah, that's just part of the game. <laughs> yeah, and then the 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 wielder doesn't know what powers are. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Like, like they don't have like a menu. I like, like the order number six. <laughs> But um, he did it, you know, not knowing any better. He did, uh, you know, uh, Vuka did ask for uh, knowledge of the future, and I don't know how you respond to that. I don't even know what the control of the main does. But anyway. It does not give you knowledge of the future. <laughs> I suspected as much. Authorities. Uh, the knowledge of the future is very rare power and not to be given out lightly. Oh, of course not. That is why I've uh, brought the sacrifice and I gesture proudly to the, uh, the, the rare purple calf, which I'm sure is uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> as delicious as it is melodious. And it starts to back up a little bit, like it's, it's looking deeper into the woods. Oh. And I've brought like a curved dagger sort of thing. Okay. So is this, is this like an actual uh, like ritual that he's going to perform? Is it, or is it just something he yeah. thinks is going to do something? 
Well, the thing is, the the, the ritual he's doing will will only work, and this is something you're going to be more you're going to be aware of in a way that he's not. Killing killing the calf in that area will probably summon mm -hmm. something up. But uh, like one of the things in the world itself is there's lots of folk magic and there's some minor things, but a lot of people really try to go outside of what they can do. Um, the things that they would have to he would have to actually do to summon and, and trap a forest demon to have control of it are, are, are more than just killing a calf. Like killing with intention, the animal will bring something, but it's probably going to bring something fairly dangerous that's mostly coming to look to either eat them both, take control of his body, or do something along those lines. Now granted, you are immeasurably more powerful than any demon and such that will walk the earth. Hmm. For all we know, the demon might make control, make me uh, take control of my body, and then use use that to make me eat my own body. Oh, gross! Oh, it is a hell demon. <laughs> the, 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 the the calf is still pressing up against it. This this meat will not be uh, necessary. Oh no? Oh no, oh great one? Oh no, you require uh, some further preparation before we can... Uh, you mean cooking it? Not the cow, you. <laughs> In order to uh, be yeah, worthy right. of that's, that's a little too I don't say that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Uh, I'll I'll, per I'll I'll undergo any any trial to be worthy of your of your grace. Do, do you actually show him how to summon up a demon, or like put that into his head? Um. Well, that. Do I think he's gonna summon up a demon that will kill him right here, and then I'm left in the forest again? Or um, I don't remember offhand how offensive your abilities are. I mean, often, I mean, they they can go. And it also kind of depends on how much you want to give him. Each, each if you give him like a level ten mm -hmm. power, he he fills in ten slots on the thing, which which gives him more control mm -hmm. over you. Like right now, if if you want to force him to do something. He rolls zero dice. You roll ten. So you're you're in pretty good shape. If you just want to be like, nope, we're going. I'm gonna wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically your puppet. I'm I'm a really weak, useless puppet, but I'm your I am <laughs> utterly yours to control for now. Hmm. Is they're like, hmm. Can I get warned by a demon? Is that a thing? Oh, you, you can't be warned, but you can only be warned by a, by a oh, demon. Dang it. <laughs> oh, you're. Find me a demon! Just meet me, you're ready, ready Hold to upgrade. <laughs> That's a half bad idea, though. Do you want to pop over to just to, just to get an idea like how another bunch of works to pop over to Dressleth for a bit and then come back? Um, really want to get this right. Uh, I'm not saying like a, a right or wrong as far as that goes. It's, yeah, vachadom is what you make of it. Yeah, and to a large degree, humans can be playthings for you, or because like you you've been wielded by many. Oh, so I can just mess around if I want to? Like, <laughs> I was like, I need to find yeah. out something that correlates with my goal and gets me closer to it, but I can just mess with them? If it's something you wanted to do, I mean, like, personality-wise, because the humans are essentially playthings. Like, your powers work through humans, but until you've given them too much power, you have, like, they're essentially a puppet to you in many respects. Now, they can become dangerous to you once they gain enough power. Um, but if a, if a wielder dies, 
that you can always get another wheel going. Mm-hmm. I mean, the other game I did, there was at one point one of the wielders that one of the bacha actually had asked another bacha to come and kill their wielder. <laughs> And one of them, they just like, did you give a wielder too much power again? He's like, yes, again. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to totally give him the idea of, like, how he can legitimately summon a demon. And you would know yeah. how. Like, you, you, you can even take control and make sure every, like, the circle of power is drawn correctly. Yeah, everything. yeah. Yeah, you go through and, and like, like in, in your head... How to appear and just appear is essentially as, um, oh, let me open that up again. Um, Samurag is, is showing you the sort of circle of protection you would need and is able to essentially feed you the words of power. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you sort of spend some time kind of creating it. it, it it's, you're old, but your 60s, your body's not what it used to be, but you're able to sort of carve it into the dirt. In this area, like move, move some stuff so you've got, you've got it there, and find the point where if, if you then bring the lamb with or the the calf within, kill it, let its blood come into the middle of the circle. Mm-hmm. It will okay. summon one inside of the circle and trap it there. Mm. At that, at which point it can be bargained with. Yes. Well, I, uh, yes, I follow all the words that. Um, Zimbarag uh, gives me, and uh, I, as the demon appears, I, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll command it, even though I know I have to offer something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to put forth as, as uh, brave a front as possible, and demand. Okay, so the demon mm-hmm. that, the demon that appears has got like, the, the, the head itself almost is a bit of a skull of a horse with, the teeth. That are um, kind of more like a dinosaur than we think about it, like really sharp, piercing. It's got two. Well, the arms are too long as they come up, and the its body sort of does like the the lower body sort of dissolves in the mist. It's not entirely here in in the world yet, and it, it reaches out and like its claws touch something physical in the air between you, oh. inside the circles. Who is summoning me? It is the, you may call me the uh, the shepherd of the purple calf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to give my real name. You don't give your real name to Deedits. Yeah. Admit. <laughs> good, good plan. Good. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 I command it to. Uh, I command the demon to. Uh, Grant me full, full, uh, full knowledge of the future. <laughs> as my, as my, uh, my brain's uh, looking Amanda, my what type of what type what specific type of demon have you had him summon? Oh, um, a uh, oh, I have to pick a type of demon. It's like, like it can be anything. Yeah, it's like, you, like you, you're, you're an ancient thing. You you, you know how to summon. Just about any kind of demon. Oh, you've seen them all. A demon of of death. Death. Death Death is good. Yeah. All right. Well, you want a vision of the future and. That was my idea of what your future is. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the future of us all leads to that. That's that's uh, that's legit. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks down on you. <laughs> Puppet on a string. Your destiny has been obscured, child. Human. You're under the control of a vacha now. Of. Um, um. A, va- a what? What I want to know is why your master summoned me. And this, the, at this point, the gaze almost starts to shift. It's looking more directly into the cave. He would not be foolish enough to summon me on his own. Uh, 
Assuming, I'm assuming you, Vacha, have reasons. Reasons for summoning a death demon, uh, because <laughs> it's what Vuck wanted. <laughs> Just, yeah, just trying to help a guy out. Looks over to Vuck. It's like the best thing in the world for you to do is to break this circle and set me free. Death would be better than Avacha decided to play with you. Uh, and I, uh, there'll be none of that until you grant me what I, what I demand. Grant me the the power of seerdom. And he and he sounds um, he probably I'm sure his his voice is quaking a little bit, but he tries to say that as briefly as possible. Yeah, Simarag, you you taught him how to um, summon it. Are you gonna are you gonna put in his head how to command how to command it? Um, that's not giving him an extra command over me or. Right. No, th just, th just like this would actually just be ritual. knowledge of a, yeah, knowledge of a demonic ritual because you, yeah, th this is outside of your own power mm -hmm. because the power of a demon is a is nothing compared to yours. Like demons generally are terrified of mm -hmm. you. Even the gods don't like you because what you do is, where where you you're you're a hole <laughs> in their ability to understand the world. Because Vacha destroyed destiny. Like, his destiny was to summon a forest demon. Who knows what's going to happen then? You've now changed that. <laughs> so, 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 Buck. So, it's not going to give you what you want. You can make it be uh, like your servant for a while. And I'm going to give him some, some thoughts on how to do that. I, funny. <laughs> I, I, I come not here seeking power. I, I, I come seeking wisdom, wisdom to that I can share with the people of my village. A demon of death is not power I wish to retain for for its own sake. And recall, Samarad, yeah. you're also able to force him to do something if you yeah. wish. In, in, until you until you've given him more power, mm -hmm. he has no dice to roll against you. But I'm a really good roller. And even, even, yeah, even, even the first few, like if like I give you a level one power, I roll one dice. I roll nine. <laughs> Wait, is it like the highest die? No, you add them all together. Oh, oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> but no, this this is the power that you need. Uh, you have the hmm. Hmm. What, what can I? What can a demon of death give you? Can it let you like know when someone's gonna die? Um, they don't necessarily know when someone's gonna die, but one of the things they can do is, I mean, they spread death and destruction where they go. They can become the plague. Mm. Um, death demons are also um, death demons are also pretty useful as far as like after destruction, the like, the fertility that comes after like, after a forest fire, the the soil. Oh yeah, nice grows better stuff like that so they're 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 tied very much into the cycle of life um yeah and like yes. they, it can so, they can sometimes give like a vision of the death but because you have come into um buck's life you know that any death he would have had is now essentially off the mm -hmm. table so what I'm you well need guarded. is the power to utterly destroy your enemies. That's what your people need. If they have enemies, they need to be completely destroyed. And this this death demon can certainly help you out with that. And once you have completely destroyed your enemies, everyone lives in peace and it's just gonna be great. So do that. <laughs> yeah, I um <laughs> Buck's uh, actually pretty scared of the of the vision you've laid out before him. Um, it may require uh, some some string pulling on your part. If uh, oh, okay, so 
So what do I need to <laughs> do? I need to roll some stuff. How do we roll? You know, at, at, at this point, you haven't actually given him any powers yet. So oh. it's it's your ten dice versus his zero. So yeah, no I'm, rolls I'm, are needed. I'm at your mercy. <laughs> Although interesting enough, once you give me that first point of power, it is theoretically possible you could always roll nine ones and I could roll ten, but not on not on d sixes. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I mean, it could be a couple. <laughs> at no, at, at any point. Thing, one thing you do is, is uh, a, a death demon, someone like this, can essentially be given a task, and it will carry out that task, but then it then it goes back. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. So can I, like, see into Vuck's mind and know what he wants and what yeah, you, you do know his Vuck's people, people are? <laughs> Vuck's people have been at war with um, a neighboring city, like a neighboring... Um, Like several, like like a loose confederation, like not really a city state, but essentially a neighboring villages under a, a petty lord. Oh, there yeah. have been raids back and forth. So I just need to get him to kill all those guys. Yeah, actually, now that yeah. you bring, yeah, now that you bring that up, uh, you know, Vuck's actually starting to come around. I'm I'm remembering my my personality traits uh, as assigned and uh, to role play them appropriately. Um, he was afraid of of uh, the plan you had presented to him. But he, when he starts specifically talking about, uh, you know, the enemies of my people, uh, you know, he, he did come here to provide wisdom to help his village. And uh, he definitely wants to protect his village from the threat that those brigands uh, surely, surely uh, present. So, He's starting to he's starting to realize that a death demon could, in one fell swoop could take take care of that whole thing, the whole problem. Even with even with only one uh, act to command, that would up one act would really all he need me. And like he may he may have meant to resist because he wants to be a good seer, but all it takes is that one moment, right? That one moment of weakness where you think, well, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I just unleash that power and that'll be enough for you and or the Death Demon to latch onto and all havoc and break loose from there. So maybe in that moment of weakness where I do decide to go ahead, go along with your plan. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Right, so do you, do you, un you unleash the demon on, on your enemies? Yes. Do you go to oversee them? If you, yeah, I will say if you if you will not let me see the future, then I will let you put my enemies make my enemies a thing of the past. I'm sorry, what was that question? Oh, um, do do you do you go with it to see? Sure, absolutely. Okay. So this point it goes. As it is spoken, so shall it be done. The sacrifice is accepted. Break the circle and send me forth, and. Um, yeah, Samurai, you know that breaking the circle in this place does actually is needed so it can leave and do the thing it's been told to do. Yes. Am I wearing Samurai at this point? Have, yeah. I, have I earned that honor? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'll very dramatically flare the flare the cape to, uh, you know, to I'll brush, I'll very dramatically brush it along the ground to, to break the circle. First dramatic cape move of the game session. And as, as it steps out, like its legs form, and the thing stands like fifteen feet tall. You know, looks looks down at you, and there's just like this darkness kind of coming around it as it turns and heads towards the um, the, the the castle of the Lord. Um, and you're you're following behind it. Yes. All right, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Drasleth. Oh boy. Um, several ships of war have actually come upon the the land that you have. There was the the island that you have created here that you have built up over time it used to be uh, a king's preserve long ago, but had been abandoned for a long time. And there was enough fears and terrors put out because of what happened at the Cove of Dead Man's Rest and other places, and also Isara's land um, and Cecilia's barony. Um, these two other uh, this family that uh, that joined, that they had actually left it alone for some time, and you, you kind of like lose track of the years 
after a bit, and unknowing, like, without you knowing it, they had died. And someone's now arrived that does not have the same respect that you've seen in the past, and it's been a very long time since anyone has come to you. And this is, again, several ships of war are off the coast, and a boat is rowing its way towards uh, towards the beach. That's one of it. I'm assuming also, has Drasleth brought his people over? Has Drasleth been alone on this island preparing it? Um, Eridu would have... Uh, yeah. I would, yeah, I would highly recommend that you would have brought uh, brought them over. Uh, it's it's good if if we're if we're to um, to bring forth the 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 turn of DC, it's going to require a lot of a lot of uh, cultivating, a lot of a lot of uh, farm hands, a lot of green thumbs will need to uh, to achieve that first step in our in our grand plan, my lad. Yes, yes, very good. Yeah, I needed at least a little bit of help. You don't want to, probably don't want to bring everybody because it's not ready, but you, you need like the farmers and stuff. Yeah, there's other people. And there's okay. a, there's what, there's a ship arriving? Several ships. Yeah, there's a couple ships off of the of the coast, and there's a boat that is rowing its way towards the towards one of the beaches. And th this land was essentially given to you um, by Cecile, um, who was a wielder of one of the mm. one of the other vacha. And this was you. You kind of realize at this point it's been close to fifty years ago at this point. Do these look like pirates? They they don't look like any like. No, they they actually look like. I mean, they're wearing um, yeah. Cecile's colors, like like Cecile and Asara, when they married. It seems like the colors of, of their houses are combined and crest. Oh. So you recognize it? Yeah, time let's just Cecile. go down there and uh, and talk to them. Sure. Yeah. Come. Come forward. There's about about a dozen people in the boats. Uh, like four or five of them are rowing, and then a few others. And one of them gets up, and he's dressed. You you've seen diplomats in your time. And steps forward. Who rules here? Uh, I Dressluth of whatever I'm of. <laughs> well, originally, originally you you've been of a tribe that mm. has not been. Uh, in existence for a very long time at this point, um, but you you were the 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 ruler of Aboria, the Monkey Kingdom in Asada, and you, you can actually see that down in the lower lower right hand corner, the oh. it. or sort of middle lower right. No, oh, yeah, there's there's Asada. So I wanted to just like. To introduce myself in the most like official scripted uh, um, whatever the etiquette is way of doing it. That you're the Lord of the Monkey Kingdom and, and such? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of class. Drasleth of the Monkey Kingdom. Drasleth of the Monkey Kingdom with like a flourishy yes. bow and Whatever proper footwork stuff. You, you seem far away from the Monkey Kingdom. That, uh, and the ruler of the Monkey Kingdom would be well over a hundred by now. You, you're but a child. Uh, th th thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I do. Look and you actually look very young because you, you you were you were found but you found um. Eridu while you were being essentially prepared for a sacrifice oh. as, a, as a very very young child. And then you escaped. Oh, I see that under the destiny thing. That's fun. What is the ruler of a monkey kingdom, if that's what you are, so far away from your Proof. land? I, 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 I would suggest that you, that you um, dispel the doubts in his mind by... Uh, 
using the powers I've given you to show that you are truly the Monkey King. Put a little fear of him into in, into the fellow. You really need to fear me? Well, at the I very least, he needs. Uh, at the very least, just to convince him who you are. But all the Fluttershy powers, dang. You can summon hordes of small animals. Hordes of control. small animals. You can animate oh, I can summon ones. some adorable little squirrels from the forest and be like, see? <laughs> <laughs> or some fearsome flesh eating uh, squirrels. <laughs> squirrels? <laughs> Let's start with the little stuff. I'd rather not um, start a fight. The um, <clears throat> yes, uh, I have obtained some retained some powers that uh, allow me a youthful visage and uh, the ability to do this. Can't see me. I'm waving my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and what, I want what, to what ability um, are you using? Is it summon a creature from the uh, summon a small animal. What what would be small? Like is a wolf too big or did a badger? Summon a honey badger. Um. Or hmm. friends. Oh no 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 no! A snake. I need a snake. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just, just one. Um, I can summon. I'll summon a bunch. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, as, as you speak, there's a there's a rustle in the undergrowth, and your own people, who like some of those who are around, know not to be afraid <laughs> when you do something like this. That they will kind like, of step out of the way. Your people are also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As as. Like dozens of snakes come out of the undergrowth and work their way. They, they, they all like kind of surround you. Or do you, do you have them like surround you? They'll or do you be have them like form around. Between? Yeah, they can hang out around my feet. Okay. So, yeah, suddenly, like as, as they come out, and the, the other people in the boat start to take like a half a step back as I see them all come out. And then you now have just a bunch of snakes. Some of them kind of reared up, looking. We'll say maybe there's even a rattler, like, <laughs> and all of them looking towards them. And then the the guy, like, who was talking, nice. that was a little pale. Very good, lad. Not to worry, friends. They are perfectly harmless. Uh, so, as I've introduced myself. Who are you, <laughs> and what do you want here? I am Dunneth Bumgardner. Okay. I am an envoy from the King of Kirowith. King? What happened to the Queen? The Queen. King of Kirowith? Kirowith? Kirowith has been united in this, this place where you live, this place where you live. Wait, no. Um, this was what did you say was gifted to me by like the Kate Queen or something? Yes, it was. Uh... There was, it was a barony back then, but of course, if, if they had the power of a bacha, becoming like a king or something, king or queen mm -hmm. would not be difficult. Well, remember, so you the, are a king yeah. too. Previous administration gifted me this land, and <laughs> you don't have any right to take it. Yeah, you 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 would know Cecile. You, Cecile, you yeah. Cecile's been dead nearly ten years. Ah, mortals. So so when someone dies, you just take everything they gave away back, any money they spent, any. Flowers they gave to lovers, they you just go and get them back. It's not how this works. I've never taken flowers from lovers, but this land may have been gifted long ago, but now there's a king. You could 
and he's looking at the snakes and trying to decide if you could pay fealty <sighs> to that king. The king can come and get it back himself. <laughs> good, I'm good. Is that okay? <laughs> and he turns and look turns and looks at the others with just and like none of like the, like you literally see one of the other people in the boat who looks kind of important sort of shrug. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at all the snakes and such and there's like I shall inform the king and I shall return presently. Yes, yes, do, do, do that. He gets back in the boat and they row very fast away from the shore. What do you do? Um, well, they're going away, so I don't care right now. Um, unless they... Uh, dang. Are there any guns on those ships? No, we're not, we're not quite oh, at the point. Okay, the well then, yeah, I just, I'm going to let them go away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. It's going to turn out okay. terrible anyway, I should have known. They, they take it back, and then the, the, the ships sail sort of closer to one another, and you, you do see a boat travel between two of the ships, and people are brought on mm. board. Wait, what? Did they, like, literally actually bring the king here with them? Seems odd. Uh, oh, okay. Well, if the king is now the, the, the wielder, then... You, you'd, you'd have known ah, if, uh, if okay. a wielder had come this close. There's no wielder here. There's no wielder there. here. Hmm. We're going to have to teach them to respect the uh, their the commitments of their. The, their they're, they're going to have to learn to respect your sovereignty, your well earned yeah. sovereignty. They never would have. Yeah. They never would have consolidated the rule if it weren't for the help that we provided them. Yeah. <sighs> Just, I don't know. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I know you've you've always, as long as I've known you, uh, Vlad, you've always. You've always preferred uh, violence as a last resort, um, but in order to create paradise, you're, you're going to learn that that's going to require some help, some help, some hell raising to, the, to to bring paradise on this on this earth. And you've gone a long time. You've gotten a very long, impressive time without having to learn that lesson, but. We'll have to see if uh, how long that can remain r remain so. Just be, just be prepared, lad. All right. I'll, um, I suppose I will do what I must. Just wait for them to. So they're taking this new ship back over to. One of the other okay. ones that are that are there, and if you're if you're kind of waiting oh. for a while, if night falls. Are you um, still remaining? I don't know. Maybe not. I, I, I kind of want to. Uh, if I think I'm going to have to fight, I might call some more animals. <laughs> like, hey guys. Okay. Like. <laughs> you guys. Give myself a little army. Okay, y'all just hang out behind the tree line, and when I say go. Just go bite everyone. <laughs> you could you could send over perhaps you could command an animal to uh, go spy on them. You can talk to animals too, so Oh you, yeah. You deliver that sounds report. great. Let's go spy on them. That sounds like the perfect thing for this character to do. Uh, what kind of animal would be able to spy on them? Something something that can swim? That perhaps, perhaps a seagull? Oh, or yeah, a seagull. Something that can fly. A dog, perhaps. Oh, let me tell you. Sorry. That's my dog. Let me. A 
Let me refill my drink mm -hmm. once again while she's doing that. Okay, I think she's relatively calm. I don't know what she said to bark at. It's just randomly. So, no, there are probably some kind of bird fly over there. Like a, a seagull or, or a crow or something that they wouldn't notice as strange hanging around. Seagull sounds good. And I'm back. And I'm back. Yeah, she's dog she's under control. Better. Oh no, there's probably some kids. Anytime anybody walks outside the apartment door, she has to alert me to it. <laughs> How dare you walk? On those two legs. <laughs> yes, so I decided to send a bird out there to spy on them. Okay. Um, yeah, so the one thing you know, unless you're able to like literally control them, uh, the problem with animals is they don't understand human language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they can warn you that, like, like, oh, something is coming from this way. But you think, what do they say? They said, rah, 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 rah. I'm a human. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> well, they can, uh, uh, it, it can know if it saw what, can animals count? Um, can ask it how well, many they, people they, they have? They can kind of say, like, many. Like, they, can, they can let you know if it's many okay. or, or a few. I want to know how many people are there and if they, if they have weapons. Yeah, so, it, like I said, so a bird kind of flies over there? Mm hmm Yeah, the bird flies over, um, and you definitely get a, um, when it returns, uh, let's know that like, there are many people on the ships. Uh, it did see um, metal weapons. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't look like they have any magic on them. I don't know if they're, the they're, bird can tell. Yeah, and here's the thing: there's actual sort of magic outside of like rituals, which are not usually terribly good for a lot. Mm -hmm. Like there, there is a, a, a basic level of magic, little things that like people use to help with crops, to um, slightly protect them from weather effects, stuff like that. There are some very minor house magics that are very widespread and common. Um, but actual like people with like significant magical power are are incredibly rare. There are a few, and like, like like summoning up a demon requires a lot of knowledge that very few have, and very few sort of have the will. So like on the other side of things, if it weren't for the like summoning up a demon would not have gone well if the Vacha wasn't helping <laughs> make that happen. Sure. So are they are they bringing the weapons? Or here, are they all on the big well, boats or on the little boats? Um, well, they're, the little boats are the like robots yeah. and stuff that'll move between. But the big boats themselves are are where where, where she saw a lot of the the people. Okay, comes back. Like, the, the the decks are filled with people. Did you see anyone with a fancy hat? <laughs> uh, like many many have hats. It's, it's fairly common to have hats. Just keep the sun out of your eyes when you're. Well, no, I'm trying to find a simple word for crown. Yeah, so I don't know. If um, yeah, know you, what crowns are. You can sort of like draw something oh, yeah. or something to show, and then yeah, it, go, it like goes back around. When it comes back, it didn't seem anything okay. like nothing like that. So I don't think the king is on the boat. They're just hanging out. Hmm. hmm. Monitoring us? Doing what? Are they monitoring us? Are they just watching us? I don't know what they would be able to see from over there. I can barely see them. Hmm. Well. Hmm. 
wonder if we can just encourage them to move further away. Uh, oh, well, let's see. What can we, what can we oh, do for that? Oh, if I, if I touch the green, can I get the seaweed to push their boats away? Yeah, that, well, that allows you to control plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, plants, plant powers. It's something I saw someone do in the game before. They're like, oh, power over plants. And there's a bunch of um, ocean. It's small plants. It probably won't move the boats, but you can probably mire it some. Oh. Like make it difficult. I mean, especially especially if they're, if they're taking rowboats on the shore. Yeah. You can make it more, more difficult for them to go. Yeah. Would uh, the seventh level power, Wrath of the Green, where you can animate large plants, could you apply that to like a big old massive seaweed? Yeah. To achieve the effect that um, that uh, Drazleth is looking for here. Yeah, that that would work. Hmm. That would require seven additional points of control. Which would 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 put uh, Drazleth at six dice and you at four. Yeah. However, you have been pretty cooperative so far. You haven't really. I mean, you're on board with the whole Garden of Paradise thing, right? <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah, the Garden of Garden of but, Paradise. Out of curiosity, have we, what? Um, in the time How that, much of the plan have I been told for this Garden of Paradise? And well, I would, um, I would have told everything. We? So because okay. I, I was actually curious about in the in the what fifty years since the last session. Um, yeah, because first we well first you have to breed the etern you have to bring forth the eternity seed, which I envision like taking like certain kinds of rare plants, maybe even I don't know using your powers somehow to to shape them, and if there's any way to do that, yeah. and then. And essentially, it'd be a thing that would take probably a very long time to do. Yeah, more than fifty years, I presume. Yeah, like like it, it's one of those things. Because otherwise, it'd be an easy task for something that's immortal. True. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's probably one of those that that could honestly like you get the stuff going, and it may take it may take centuries for it to actually. Okay. But the thing is, to you, centuries are not that big. Sure. So like, this is like a multi generational thing. This is the kind of thing oh, yeah. where you could build a whole society, a whole civilization, just around achieving just, this one thing. And if you're lucky, it might last long to actually do it. We have the great power. We have finally created the... Wait, where did our ruler with the thing go? <laughs> right, exactly. This is this is all I needed. But no, but we're... But we're we, oh, crap. We've lost our major <laughs> thing that scared the hell out of everybody. Oh, <laughs> right. no. We're in trouble, guys. Well, so far, so far having the... Uh, Doing what the staff wants to do hasn't caused Dresleth to like hurt anyone he doesn't want to hurt or uh, do things that he really doesn't want to eat. Like, yeah, if, uh, if I remember the last, even from the prior game sessions, I don't think I don't know if Dresleth has ever directly killed anyone, even. Uh, we 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 uh, yeah, we grabbed a bunch of pirates into killing a whole bunch of people, <laughs> but. The, the the other Vacha actually ended up no wait no I think was that you or was that them that summoned all the baboons to rip apart the the pirates that got wrecked oh that would have definitely been uh, us because we're we're the we're the animal people we're the yeah, animal God. team I, I felt animal yeah Drasla <laughs> slaughtered the crew of a pirate ship using sharks and baboons and seaweed oh okay so they were pirates that yep. doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if, if you're okay, we can actually skip a little bit because, like, if, if you're sort of watching and seeing what they're going to do, um, yeah, and I'm we prepared can, to give um, Wrath of the Green to Drazleth uh, in order to, if 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 he wants to go ahead and uh, rock rock their boat a little bit, is that a thing that you'd like to happen? I think that's a great plan. So, uh, yeah, do see, we shove. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, sure, I'll grant. Uh, do you want to fill out the, I guess, the control boxes? I guess it's another seven X's in that pyramid box thing. Ah. Just, just seven more X's in the. Yeah, and then thing. note that you. Yeah, and then just uh, okay. note the power that you have, Wrath of the Green. Nice. Eight, six. A little copy paste. Gonna be great. Okay, so do you do you use it to entangle the ships? 
Yeah, on mess with their ships. That sounds okay. Weird. So what what do you what do you do to them? Um, I, I really just want to make it hard for them to get any closer to the island, and uh, I don't really want to almost add. form a like a reef with them, or yeah. Oh, a reef that sounds great. With uh, like a mass of seaweed that comes up, that is. Okay. So while this is happening, give me a favor. I need you to make a roll. Okay. Essentially, to see if you hear something before something happens. Okay. Um, you're looking at a, a heart or a heroic. So a twelve is your is a number you're going after. But what am I rolling? So it'd be you have two d six base. Your background, personality, and destiny, if any of those fit, uh-huh. it can give you an extra D6. Okay. And I know your observant would work for that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think your background or destiny Let's fit. see. Background says seer child. Right. Well, a, a molten seer was the name of the the tribe. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so, so yeah, you you roll th- three three d six, and what, what you're trying it for is a twelve. Let's see if I figure out how to do that. That is not how you do that. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, slash roll. Yeah, yeah, slash. Yeah, I think it's slash r three d six. Okay. Oh, I put the slash on the wrong side. Dang it. Here we go. Just a twelve. All right. Ju- yeah, just enough. Um. As you're, you're sitting there, you, you hear a gasp kind of come from behind you. And you turn just in time to see there are several uh, several men with bows and arrows. What? That have come the other way. And the, they're pulling uh, they're, they're, they're pulling on you now. Oh, can I stick the snakes on them? Are the snakes still around? I can stick the snakes on them. Yeah, the, the snakes are still around, but they're sort of around you. So the question is, would you be able to do that necessarily... Before they can they can lose. So what we do here is actually let me. I'm gonna deal to you. Let's let me know if you get uh, different cards. Um, there should be five different cards that you should get now. I think. Move all that stuff in the way. Oh so yeah. Make sure, are they all, are they all different? Um. I got two of the same. Damn it. Um, yeah. it should do. What they're supposed to do is actually go through the whole thing. Maybe I should, let me check something. Maybe there's all four. Oh. Yeah, so what are the two that you have that are the same? Uh, remain. Okay, you have, oh, so, um, do you have a sword, a shield, one that says switch, and one that looks like magic? Um... I don't have a sword. Okay, do, do me a favor. Uh, take yeah, take this this card. Yeah, Mike, do you have the same the same five? Um, five five different ones. Yeah, so Daisy, if you look up on the top, I've the very top left. Uh, you got uh-huh. Oh, see. Yeah, if you take that sword. Ah. Uh, right click and then you can just hit take. Take. Okay. Okay. So the way this works and the, the way the way it's, it'll it'll work with um, these is you will be let me put text here in the first box. So I will put. Um, do you prefer Daisy or Amanda? Uh, Daisy's fine. Okay. Um, so. The first box will be for you. The second one, if he needs it, will be for Mike. And then, in this case, uh, I can just kind of do so with one GM character. I can put others if I need it. So, what you do is, and then this is, if it's around a table, you actually either, like, it'd be a thing where we'll be like, one, two, three. And then it would either be like, if I point three fingers at you, it means I'd be trying to do three points of damage. If I put three fingers across the chest, it means I'm, I'm defending for three. Oh, yeah. I was wondering how this is supposed to work. 
Yeah, so I, I figured the cards seem to be the way to do it, like especially if you don't have a, a, a the camera for it, um, or if you just put a fist up like this. What it does is it's using magic. Mm -hmm. So the first now to do to do one wound, you don't even have to roll. You would do it automatically, except a defensive one would automatically block it. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, what what you can do is so if, if I go, I want to do three points to you, and you put your doing, then we can we have a chance to switch. We go three, two. One and we would both put down either a switch or a remain card. And if you switch, you go from you lose one and then you switch from like either attack to defense. Magic always goes first. Um, attack and defense uh, at, at that point, you because if, if, if everyone attacks, then everyone just rolls and sees. So if I try to do three wounds to you, I would have to roll eight, or I'd have to roll 12 to do that much. If I roll less than that, I fail to do anything. And if like you're defending for three, it would be the same sort of thing. So vice versa. So essentially, the, the more you try to do, the higher you have to roll. Okay. So, yeah, one, one thing I was doing is just um, going ahead and putting a, like, I will put a card down there, and then I'll we'll be able to count like three, two, one, and I'll place it on what level of wound they're they're trying to do, or if it's a defend, when I flip it over, that's the amount of defend. If it's magic, then the magic goes first. Mm -hmm. So you can even just put a card out since it'll be face down, and then we can just count down and then drop it on the one that you oh, want to Oh, go it is face down. Okay. okay. And three, two, one. Ah, dang it. Come here, stupid thing. I don't know why things do it. Uh, you can probably go the, do you have the select the select oh move. The, the little yeah little thing at the there top. we go i got it i'm figuring it out <laughs> and then we can flip okay them. okay so you are defending yeah. for two they are attacking for two and some of your magic will also tell you if you can attack or defend the same round okay so i'll be rolling for them and you can then roll for yourself to see if you can defend against the two so they'd be going They rolled for crap, so they did not actually. They like the arrows miss. <laughs> they, get, like, they, they, they kind of they kind of land sort of around you a couple a couple fly past, but you are you are actually okay. not hit. So like my defense roll doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, because like since, since they completely whiffed, you don't have to. Okay. So it, as it, as as they, they see it, their eyes go kind of wide, and it's, again they're pulling, they're pulling arrows. And let, let me know if there's something to it. So at this point, three, two, one. I don't know how to put this. Ah, fuck. It, yeah, that's probably good enough. Flip it. Flip it. Because it's magic. Right. What's, what is the magic you're doing? Um, uh, the uh, control swarm. Do that. And attack someone. Yeah. Okay. So you control a small group of animals. You can have them attack someone for one or defend some defend someone for one. Uh, they follow simple commands. They're they're able to die. So they basically they would be yeah. attacking for one. So you like snakes and stuff attack. to attack. Them? Yes. Okay. So is that, then basically a regular person has three hit points. Mm -hmm. um, so I will roll again for them to see as they're firing. Oh, so. You're going to take two wounds from that. But as the snakes come through and start biting them, at, at this point, like, since they are being attacked, it's going to be much harder for them to just start uh, attacking back. But, but you get hit with an arrow like, uh, right through the shoulder. So if you want to make a note, you've got two wounds. You have a total of okay. three that you can take. Oh. We'll make a note. Like, like, ah, damn it! And... At, at this point, you realize they're going to be taken up a little bit with the, um, with the snakes, which is, is most of them have them do. So, if you want to then put what you want to do, and then let me know. What I want to do, um, 
Oh, man. How am I at attacking things anyway? Oh. Okay. Just go. Get them. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Look at things. They're attacking the snakes, and you are... So how are you attacking them? Uh, are you rushing into rushing hand-to-hand? -hand um... Yeah, um, I guess hand to hand. Like it's got, okay. I, I could hit them with the staff, but <laughs> no, I mean, the, 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 the staff won't, won't oh, hurt. Okay. No, so they're attack, they're attacking the snakes around them. Holy shit! Yeah, like they, they they've each been wounded. They've taken some wounds, but as as they're attacking, they'll take some more. So they're, they're getting hurt mm -hmm. pretty badly, and, and you rush in. So you're trying to roll an eighteen, okay. or rather a a a twelve to do. Um, okay. Three wounds. Do I get what forty six or? Three? Um, you would have two d six. Um, oh. plus one d six if you're using the staff. I don't think any of your personality traits make you a better uh, like, uh, warrior. Did I don't know if any of it's like pure attack increase, but I've got observant and paranoid. I feel like that would be better for defense or deflecting things, though. Yeah, I think probably. So the, the attack, it looks like you've got yeah. like, it looks like 3d6. Let's do that. 13. Okay. Yeah, so as, as you actually, you're able to, as you rush in, and we'll say we kind of split those three wounds up, there was four of them. They're hacking at the snakes as you come in, and you're just able to <laughs> drop three of them. And there's the one left, and the one left has been bitten several times, but is actually at, at this point like the the swarm that you sent after is dead. <sighs> Looks around. I'm gonna take that staff from your damn hands. Uh, no, no, you're supposed to yield, run away, and I'm supposed to shout after you. Then don't come back. <laughs> Alright, so I would put the card out for what you're Pick doing. It up again. I'm gonna have to oh wait, I didn't take back my previous card. Duke. <laughs> um So what, snakes are mostly dead, right? Yeah, they they basically like because they, they they've done the two points sort of all their way around okay. to take care of the swarm, but each of them have taken two wounds of damage, so like and you've killed okay. three of them. So the one that's left has got like one wound left and is actually pretty badly hurt. Okay. Okay. Do this. Okay. So then one, two. Three, go ahead, put them. Are. Okay. Magic. What are you doing, magic? Um, touching the green because I assume there's some plants around here that can just mm -hmm. slap them. Just <laughs> <laughs> get a vine to go. <laughs> Surprised, thunk. Yeah, that's uh, they they cannot move the spot of rooted, but you can have trees and stuff around. You can both use this power and defend in the same round. So I'm assuming you probably also defend. Yeah. But yeah, they animate the large plants. It says, ah, and then just one like a tree branch just. Sh crushes in his chest and sends him flying as, as you're sort of waiting for something to come and just kind of crumbles under the ground. And at this point, you sort of slump a bit. Like, you, like that arrow has done some damage. Oh. Oh, well, hopefully they'll you, think twice before coming here again. And ow, I need a doctor. All right. Take it easy, lad. Um, uh, we, we, we've got a healer on this island, right? Go over there and lay down. <laughs> Probably someone who knows some rudimentary stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you go there. Let's head back to over Ailholt. Close that. Vuck. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of follow towards like some of the villages. Now you, 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 who are you telling it to kill? 
Uh, just the uh, the the tribe that's threatening my people, my village. But like, the, it, it won't be able to. They like, and one command won't have to kill all of them, but they could like wipe out. It could wipe out a village. It could uh, attack certain people. Oh, certainly the uh, you know certainly the the chieftain of the clan. Okay. That person yeah, so as, yeah, as 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 you're you're, you're following it. Um, as it heads through, and it, it takes some time, um, and you you know sort of how to get to that area. And it comes on to the castles here are still fairly rudimentary. Um, castle's probably the wrong term. Fort might be a little bit better. Wooden fortification, some stone in there, but they're not um, not the we're not back. We're not quite to the the big parts of um, that we tend to think of when we think of castle. Um, as, as, as you're kind of approaching, there are men up on the wall. And what is that? In God's name, they, and they fire some arrows, which just pass straight through it. As it, it floats up and its arms just reach out, as it like, passes through them, they just, some of them drop like off of the, the wall and into like in front of it. Others just collapse on the, um, on the walkway that's on the other side and just like you, you've, you've never seen a life just get snuffed quite like that hmm. as it heads in you, you hear screams from within and like rally protect it and then like some of those screams are cut very cut off very quickly do you go inside or do you wait out Oh, no. I'll, I'll, uh, I would follow. I, 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 need, I need to see this through, I feel. Okay. Yeah, as you go through, like, the, the, the weird thing are the bodies are just, you'd swear that they were sleeping. They're a little too still, but, like, to drop that quickly with no violence is, is something you've not seen. And it's, it's sort of eerie as you go through and just, like, you hear screams coming from inside as, as it's traveled in um, and swords drawn, people running, and then and as, as you sort of like head into it itself, you see that there are like servants and, and some of the like the peasant folk who are in the, the corners like shaking. Okay. And the, the Lord is slumped over in the middle of, of the hall. Make it more like a, like a little more like a Viking hall than like a castle. But he's basically mm. slumped over in the, in the middle of the hall with warriors just, again, they could be asleep or in a painting. It's, it's, it's for all you know. Mm. And the thing turns to you as commanded, so it was done. And then it just fades. It's almost like, like smoke being blown, um, being blown away by a, a stiff breeze. And it was just the the chieftain who was killed. No, no, it was a bunch of his warriors as well. Okay. Like, like, like some, so there's some of the some of the, the the small people, the peasants, and other stuff are are cowering in the corners, the servant types. Mm -hmm. But the warriors have all been killed. Ah. All right. I. Uh, I, I. Was it a whole bunch of uh, warriors, or just a few, like just like a few guards, or like his personal like, guard? His personal guard was definitely here. Okay. Well, I um, I, I can I um, imagine that now that the the heat of the battle is over, that Buck would be feeling overwhelmed, um, taken aback by the carnage that he had uh, unleashed, and uh, he's he's just telling himself that this was uh, you know self defense fence for the island and therefore couldn't have been a sin because he was just trying to protect his peep village. Um, <laughs> but he's going to... They're all giving very good deaths. And so they, and you're looking over the body of Andres Marinho, who mm -hmm. was the lord that is dead. So that his crown has fallen off of his head. Huh. You're in the middle of his hall now. So you you've defeated your enemies. 
is wonderful. You well, can return a hero. Yeah, return. I, I, I do need to get back. And uh, I start to just uh, stamper, stammer my way out of the place. And, yes, yes, uh, bring some proof of what has happened here. I'm No, though, he's not. He's not really thinking about bringing any, like, lifting any any trophies. He just wants to get away, and he'll just trust that, um, you know, the head. Uh, head in the sack. That's true. Head in the sack. <laughs> Traveling with the head in the sack. What? Head in the sack. Head in the sack. Going new, down the road with the head in new, the sack. It's my new theme song, apparently. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll he will go ahead and lift the lift the head. Um, I guess that that is customary, right? Yeah, it's not, I, like, it's not you, weird. You, you, you weird. killed things. You you killed things in rituals and such. The Have you ever time. taken off a human head before? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, bit of a different experience than you've had in the past. I bet. I bet. <laughs> so it's probably wait. easier like face down and going from underneath. So you're not looking at it as a face while you're sawing it off. Oh, so I actually have to take it off. Oh, I thought. Oh, ooh, wow. okay. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> especially if I'm using. I'm it. a death demon. Here's one head neatly packaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll go ahead. He'll go ahead and um, take take a take a take his receipt, his receipt of conquering, um, <laughs> and it'll be it'll be gruesome. Yeah, as you know, he's got the ceremonial knife, but it's not meant for such such a. Uh, Grizzly work is this, um, but he does it. You, you could call this a ceremony, <laughs> like, uh, uh, right? Uh, so he'll do that, and uh, like a change of command ceremony, <laughs> a changing of the guard. Yeah. He won't He's go not ahead the and king do. anymore. No. <laughs> well, I, I hope this doesn't make me the king because that's not that's absolutely not what I was. Going for, um, but we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Everyone's playing for, but whatever. Right. <laughs> he will go ahead and uh, head back to his village. Hopefully, no, no one stops him along the way. Yeah, you know, the, nobody there because like they they watch this thing come in and you just follow after it. So everyone who's left alive is terrified of you. <laughs> um, you, and you they watch you. You just you're like it's harder to get through the spine than you think. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got this dripping head on the way back. It takes you a few hours, and there's a point you probably either wished you had a sack or something with you to make it a little easier. To, like you just got like hand in the in the hair. Yeah, really. It's... Um, but as you you approach your your the village you're from, it's it's fairly sleepy. At this point, we'll say by the time you get there, it's fairly early in the morning, because um, you went out in the evening is a better time to summon demons <laughs> than during the day. It's like the the world is a little little closer to demons at that point. Sure. And you, as you head back, there's a few of the farmers that are coming out to sort of tend the fields and look at you. You've got the head. And one of them, um, who is Adeline, Adeline uh, Jolie, someone from all of your life, looks at you and just, fuck, that. Is that Andreas? And she's looking at the head, it's like, like wide-eyed. I've, I've done something. It says very, very what, understated. What have, what have you done? Uh, well, uh, I've, el I've eliminated. The I've, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've defeated. Uh, and I say the name of the dude. Yeah, Andreas uh, Marino. Marino will threaten our village no, long, no more. Just Charlene will hear this. Charlene's the Charlene's your leader. Um, I'm gonna say, Char, Char, what's your relationship like with her? I think probably I was probably someone who was like allowed to serve the the court or the inner circle almost as a, a as a. Uh, as a courtesy, because I'm, I've, as a seer, I've, I've been past my prime, and I still 
you know, give my prognostications, but it's been a while since they've been taken seriously since I've been trying to lose that, that, that whatever edge I had and being able to sense the future. Uh, so it's almost like a kind of a, um, I don't know if condescending is quite it, but it's almost like a, almost like the more more of a mascot than a really legitimately vital, useful part of uh, of the court. Okay. Yeah, like so she runs she runs ahead. As they go in, they kind of bring Charlene out. Charlene looks exhausted as she comes up. She's really been woken from sleep and comes out and is looking. Let's say you live in Frostford. Um, as, as she looks over at you, she's what do you have with you? It is our enemies, the lady. Our, our enemies? You can't possibly be, and then you show her. <laughs> like, her eyes go, you've never seen her look this shocked before. And right. she's looking, she's like, how, how did this... What? I had only meant to to restore my uh, my vision, my ability to foretell what is to come. That's all he meant to do. I I, I I had brought forth a sacrifice. I had please forgive me, but I had stolen the the purple calf to offer to the forest in return for for the return of my gift. So speak speak. Speak no more. Come with me into the, into my home. I follow. She turns and she looks at you, and then she also looks at like the, the cape you're wearing, which is like, I'm, I'm assuming are you're sort of like of a fabric or something that, that they've never seen, like of a workmanship that they've never seen. This yes. is still fa fairly fairly primitive. We're past tribal, but mm -hmm. still fairly primitive. And she's like looks at the cape. Most time it's like, normally stealing the calf would have been. A defense punishable by death, but here you come with the head of Andreas. How on earth did this happen? What did you do? I, I beseeched the forest, and the forest answered, but did not send the servant that I expected. What servant did it send? It was a, it was a death demon. I, that's not what I meant to call. I meant to call in a forest spirit, but this came instead. In all of my years, I, I, I've never heard of a, a seer summoning a death demon. That's minor spirits at most. How, even with that sacrifice, how would you? And this is something, um, Silmarag. You've definitely seen this in the past. As she sort of turns. And she pulls out sort of a hunk of cheese and cuts off a bit and then hands it to and like as she goes to hand some of the cheese to Vuck, you definitely see eyes are completely on you. <laughs> what's what's with what's with the cheese? No, she like takes like a knife and cuts off a thing of cheese and then turns and hands the cheese. Cheese or rather kind of like turns and hands you the cheese. The knife is still in her hand. I don't know if I don't know if Buck if, if, if you think Buck would notice this, but I will say, Silmarag, you definitely do. Like she is looking only at you, <laughs> because as far as anyone's knowing, what he has done is practically impossible. Like you, you know, the chances of the knowledge of how to do this actually even existing on the world as of yet, outside of Avacha, like you're un it's possible, but you're unaware of any uh, any human that has actually discovered that level of demonology. Mm. So she is she is distrustful of us. We get rid of her. At which point she just goes, "This cloak, I've, I've never seen anything like it." Did the demon give that to you? I don't like her. Uh, I, I I I I found her before her. What 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 what, uh, what 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 pronouns does the vacha use? Oh, I don't, I, I don't even something. know. It's a thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, I. I, I what, does, does, the, does the voice does the voice sound masculine, feminine, androgynous? 
Um, or how I'm going to go with androgynous. Okay. Just to be confusing. <laughs> well, the um, I, the cape appeared before the demon, the lady. And I'm 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 a little cautious. I'm a little wary now, because now I'm thinking, oh yeah, I've got this too. I stopped thinking about the head and the demon. Can, if I if I gave him aura of authority, would he be able to use that to get her to like do what he wants instead of being all suspicious? Yeah, it's, it's essentially, yeah, aura or of authority is not my control, but it makes someone react to you as if you were the person above them in power. <laughs> Which means if you have someone who's highly, um, like, I, I kind of think I'm a high school teacher. I have some students that would work amazingly well on, some <laughs> that that would not go well with okay. at all. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, is, is she's, she's aware of power structures. And, you know, she at one point wasn't the leader. Like, so she's, she's become this. So she's been a part of those for a while. So her thing is, is if she's looking at him as, Someone power who, who kind of owes owns that power. Uh, she's very likely to accept it. Oh, hmm. So what you're saying is she's better than Vuck. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Remember, you're you're also always able to essentially. I mean, if you've decided this, you'd rather have this as your this person as your wielder. That's something you can do, particularly right now when Buck has no, <laughs> no power. <laughs> right, and it's still shell shock from the whole experience. Yeah. Buck seems like he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, like his his grand ambition, he, he went out on this crazy crest, and his mm -hmm. only goal in mind was to continue serving in the way he's already been serving all these years. So maybe not the most ambitious person. Hmm. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> he could grow into it if he if he gave him if you gave him time. Cool. But will you give him time? So I do feel like this would. Be a good idea. I don't like. I had my fun with Vuck. He was <laughs> the, 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 the thing to remember. Adorable. Wielders are very um, expendable. <laughs> yeah, I don't. So have wait, to what do I? What do I think she wants to do with this knife? No, you you, you definitely <laughs> recognize that, like she's she's looking at him going. There's no way this dude did this. Uh huh. Um. And. So she's looking at this thing that, that not only has she never seen before, it is she's never seen anything that even looks like it. It would kind of like mm. be showing up in an Iron Man armor today. <laughs> and so she's looking at this, and he mentioned that it came, with the, it came before the demon, and she's putting two and two together pretty quickly. Mm. Oh, so can I talk to her? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, she can? <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll say you can reach out, particularly if you're looking at um, and having her as a wielder. Ah. So I would definitely do that. Reach out to her. And I um, love the idea that when this happens, Vuck can also hear. But <laughs> but the thing is, is but the thing is, the samurai can also stop Vuck from doing anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> because there's like, no no power has been handed over as of yet. <laughs> Yeah, but having realized this, it's, it's going to be too late for him to do anything about it, really. Mm. He had his, it, sounds, it sounds like his, he had his chance. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. Like, I sacrificed <laughs> him up. That's, that, is, that, is, that has never happened in a wheel game I've run yet. That's, <laughs> that's so great. It feels what? right to me. <laughs> I, like, like, I mean, I haven't run like a, sh a shit ton of them, but like I've, I ran one for several months before we had one player whose schedule changed. It was like a three-player game. Um, but they had never... We, we had at one point, one of the Vacha asked another one to come and kill his wielder because he had too much power. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've never... They've never seen one that's... They've just basically gone, nope, I'm going to get... I'm going to trade up. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. 
which is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, if that's what you want to do, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, dude. So I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to tell her, you are the wise woman of this. What, what do you call it? A village? The village. <laughs> hey, and Vuck, you can hear this as well. So if you also want to react. She's like, I am their leader. I lead several of the villages here in this area. I think you know what's going on here. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> she pulls a knife and is like, I think I do. And like, Buck, you see her look at you and kind of, she's holding the knife in an unfriendly oh. fashion. And you're hearing this conversation. Like, because, like, uh, Charlene's actually speaking out loud. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, v Vuck, you know, quickly realizes what's happening, what's going on, and, and what's just turned. Um, he's going to basically, he's going to try to bluff and say that <laughs> I, I've learned that he's going to basically bluff that he can still bring back the, the death demon anytime he wants. And we'll see, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> But Char Charlene kind of pauses for a moment. How much time does that take? Mm. Could you summon it up to destroy other enemies? Well, I, I, I have to warn you. I just have to but think of it, and then it's out of my control. Just please, I, I think if it's, it, it'll be best if perhaps we continue this discussion in the morning, after after I've had some rest, and also I, I I must, if I may say so, you know this is the this is a, a perfect time to to strike and eliminate the rest of uh, you know our wretched enemy. Uh, if you if you rally your forces now and 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 ride, you could you could sweep up what I've left behind. She goes, is he speaking the truth? Hmm. It can be arranged. You you'll technically know like the ability to summon a demon like that, like the purple the purple calf was super rare and you need something on that level to be able to summon you a demon. Have death. more purple calves. <laughs> She's, no, those I mean the, 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 those are things that happen once in several generations. Mm. But I've done it once. I, I could do other things. Uh, right? Maybe not. And she, she sort of comes forward, like, like mm -hmm. a hand with a knife down on her side. The other one kind of comes out on your shoulder unless you try to stop her. Well, I'll feebly try to stop her, but there's, I don't know. Well, well, yeah. I may be rugged, but that's really more of an endurance thing than okay. a strength thing. He's still a pretty, still like a 60 some year old man. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Samurai also let me know if you're controlling him at any um, point. But she reaches out, you like slap the hand away or something, or try to. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to. Sure. I suppose I can let him try if he can like prove himself and defend against <laughs> this woman. Maybe I'll let him keep me. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at that point, she just sort of smiles and then leaps forward with. With the web, with, oh the, with the knife. Well, are we throwing cards around now? Is that how this works? Okay, now yeah. I know I've heard it a couple of times, but it still hasn't sunk in. So I'm going to need some help. So you basically you, you got your attacker defense cards. One thing, one thing I forgot to do earlier is you can switch after you put them out. I, I, oh. <clears throat> so if you so you got attack defense and you've got magic. Unfortunately, you've been given no magic as of yet, and, and unless you want to negotiate. Very quickly to try to get something. You'd either be attack or defense, and I count down to three, and then we drop them onto the level of what you're doing. Actually, you and I, since we've got the camera, we can probably just do this. We probably just either point, like, say, like if it's three, I can just point like this, or I kind of across the chest for however many, like one, two, or three, and then we can just do the switch. Where like, if it's a switch, say I'm attacking for three. If I decide to switch, we did like three, two, one. 
and then would come back and I'd lose one, but I'd be um, for two. Okay, that's As an example. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> it's, it's still a little. Yeah, and, and so what you're doing on, on the, the the top right by the thing are how yes. what you have to roll. So attacking and defending for one, you don't even have to roll. You automatically do mm -hmm. either attack or defend for one. Uh, if you want to do two, you have to roll a six. Three is a twelve. The four, which is more than a regular person's got, you will get eighteen. So three is what a standard person has. Okay, let's see. Well, I've um, I, I, I've established rugged as one being one of my personality traits. Would that could I parlay that into a plus one? It would yeah. definitely for defense, definitely. But you're saying it was a stamina thing. Yeah. Um, and then background is a seer. Uh, could I have seen this coming? <laughs> I think there's a lot of rituals that go into uh -huh. this, that, that sort of magic. Um, oh, you, you, mean, you mean if I if I played a magic card, I think I'd get a plus one. Is that what you're saying? No, no. The the magic. The thing is, you you okay. were given no powers yet. You you would have you would have to ask your bacha. Who seems to be willing to just serve you up to uh, to give you some power? Yeah, I kind of, well, I'm I'm not so sure about that, <laughs> but um, and you, and you, you think is you, you you can ask her because one thing we said is the the telepathic communication takes place mm -hmm. faster than real time, so it just lets you talk before I figure out what you want to mm -hmm. do before doing something. I uh. Yes, I, I would just, uh, I would tell her that I would tell her that um, that I'll that I'll I'll, I'll, I'll just start. Um, he probably would just end up being kind of like honestly. I don't know if he could help it. Be, it sounded a little pathetic as he's like basically begging for for power not to die. Uh, but he's gonna. I right. I, I didn't. I I didn't come all this way just to, just to, just to bleed out by I I I, I was. I've only ever meant to protect this, protect my people, and then I can keep doing that if you just give me the power to do that. I can, I can, I can do it. That's all, that's that's kind of like the take is again. I, I can do this still. It's not too late, right? And uh, he may he may or may not. He probably sounds a little pathetic, but that's that's probably the best he can summon. It. I, I envision him summoning, um, but he, that's the case he's going to make. And I guess it's up to you to, um, as to who or what you do next. Be helpful, or should I give you some shit? Or <laughs> sorry, um, oh, oh, if he can do something with it, yeah, I will grant him the distant ear. Which power is that? It's uh, you can create sound illusions nearby. <laughs> so yeah, make a distraction and run away. <laughs> well, what he could do is he could uh, he's gonna start um, he could start uh, bluffing a, a, a spell that was summoned a death demon and then create this, this like just terrifying roar. To indicate that, yeah, that something something terrible is on the way. You could do that. If he thinks that will work, oh. sure. And let me also you are also able to. I'm gonna actually change it. You actually can defend in the same round. Okay. So yeah, basically you can do that and then kind of roll your defense. And we'll give you a plus one, essentially counting the illusionist equipment. Okay. On there, and then if, if you want to defend, you're able to. Sure. Okay. So we, we just kind of pointed each other years ago across the chest. Mine would go towards you. So okay, let me let me just look at the numbers again so I can see what. So I'm getting. Um, so I would have four dice to roll. One for two dice plus one for rugged plus one for equipment. Yep. Am I under? Okay. In that case, uh, four dice. Yeah, and it's like one, two, three, or even yeah. more. Okay. Should have. All right. Um. Sure. Okay, I think I know what I'm, I'm going to call. All right, I'm looking at how much you have. So, yeah. three, two, one. one. Uh, this is defense, by the way. Yeah, oh, so how, I can't see how many you have. Oh, three. Whoops, sorry. Three. There it oh, is. Yeah, she's, she's also attacking for three. Yeah. So, 
the 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 sound and there's a moment she sort of like her head twitches mm -hmm. but then as she rushes in to attack so i would go ahead and make your roll and she'll make okay. hers let's see what happens. one for oh 18 which she just got so i'm really uh <laughs> That's a lot of going, I hope you're happy now we're, we're the monkeys are dancing for your entertainment <laughs> Roll 3d6. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay. You Wait. go for kind of the all or nothing. Mm -hmm. as, as you're trying to go through, and like it, her hand slips like underneath and just like right in your throat. Okay. And you're just, so you, you take three wounds, you don't actually, because you, you have to get the full amount. Mm -hmm. Oh. And as you're sitting there, you're. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Kind of cho yeah, choke, choking on the, um, the thing. <laughs> and then she just, <laughs> and then she's, she's turning around and she's sort of looking for like where the sound came from. As a, he falls to the ground, he's he's definitely he's bleeding out. He's about to die. Not not to fear, my lady. He conjured no demons. <laughs> what what did he create? <laughs> What was what was that sound? It was. <laughs> it was what it was. <laughs> All right, and there's normally good till ten, but that seems like a great place to end. It's like a little bit early. Sure, I, that's <laughs> good to me. But yeah, Charlene. Let me make a note. She is now the wheeler of Sorak. So long, Buck. Someone got bucked over. And Dave, it's, it seems like you were getting kind of more comfortable with the um, the Vacha person. Thing, yeah, as that was going. Yeah, it's. Oh yeah, I, I felt it too. Kind of yeah, God, God, the moment where you're just like, wait, she's better than Vuck. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for you too. Yeah, because the wheel. He are, was a he was a very good mule to carry me out of the forest. That's it. yeah, that's exactly what Buck was. <laughs> which is hilarious because there's a point where I'm kind of realizing, oh, like we it gave me the ability to summon that, which meant that you didn't actually need to use any powers yet. But like, he would it'd be hard for him to summon it another time. So we'll see. And then it's like, okay, nope, you're, you're going to bring me to a better person. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was awesome. That was a good. That was a good ending. Yes. Yeah, it was, yeah it's, it's like we could keep going a little bit, but I'm also like we've got Drasleth hurt, we've got this wielder killed. That's right. I've killed two wielders. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not as spectacular as the last one, but I'll take it. I remember how the other one died? Oh, he got he got flooded. Remember he was trying to like race. Oh yeah, that's into right. the heart of that that god's power. In that uh, underground city, meanwhile, yes. it was bringing a big, like a big torrential flood up all around him, and he was hoping yeah, he really lippy, get to really the lippy to a goddess. Yeah, mm -hmm. I went for I, you know, I, I, I swung for the fences. What can I say? <laughs> but yeah, this was fun. Yeah, so, I, I, I just, I'm sorry. No, okay, okay, keep going. Oh, I have to say, I think uh, of of the um, of. The ways I've seen uh, people play their vaches, I, I think, I feel like this was more closest to what a vach would really be like, just that real kind of like detached, you know, mortals are play things, are, which we are in, in their perspective. Mm -hmm. And I think you, you did a very good job of, uh, of playing that out to the hilt. And uh, I don't think I've quite seen it quite like, uh, I don't think it's gamed out quite like the way as I've seen, but that was, that was fun to watch, even if I was on the receiving end. <laughs> The, the moment he said it was okay to just mess around, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that seemed to be the around. thing where you're like, oh, wait, I don't have to care about, <laughs> just, I mean, about these people. Yeah, you've got you've got a game plan, but you also have no no, no deadlines. <laughs> as long as no one tries to pull the Destructo thing on you. Yeah, which, which most people's Destructo thing is super hard to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's when you call another Vacha for help. <laughs> you're like, somebody! <laughs> um, cool. I had fun with that. Like, 
I was a little worried about trying to find the thing to make that feel that 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 part of the story feel more complete. But holy shit, once once you discovered you could play, that was cool. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> well, well, I'm looking um, forward to seeing what um, my new wielder has got going on. <laughs> yeah, I think, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up, um, I haven't put anything down for June yet. It turns out um, I have time this summer. Um, the, the, we've had several people like join and then, then have to drop. So I, I didn't know if, if Tuesdays ended up being the best time for people, but I, so I might change that if others work better. Um, but like as a drop-in game, it works really well. Like next week, we've got nobody on there, but the week after, I've got one so far. But then I'll be putting maybe some up for June. I might see if a, if a date works better for people who are interested. Yeah. yeah, I know for myself, I find I find myself feeling like like gaming during the work week is kind of a tough thing, and I. Mm -hmm. I could do it, but I I I I would always kind of, I always prefer to, I think I prefer to keep my gaming on the weekends. Um, like after a, you know day a day of work, I and then yeah, you know. I might because I used to have a, I used to have a Saturday morning game going, but that ended up just schedules weren't working. Mm -hmm. So I might I might try to move it then because I've got a Sunday night game here. Um, in person, but I might try to do something maybe on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. Saturday morning would be nice. Um, okay. my only issue with uh, weekends is like which specific weekend we do it because there are would be certain ones I wouldn't be able to come. I think, yeah. and, the, and the nature the nature of this makes it fairly easy for people to drop in and out and to come back after several sessions. Because mm -hmm. when I was trying to think of a, a type of game I like to run that would actually work with the with the open table, this was about the only one where I was like, oh, this one. Because it's always going to be a, its own different thing, and it's not trying to do like one sort of story or something. Mm. It can kind of become whatever it needs to be. Yeah, so I might I might switch that to Saturdays for uh, in June. Yeah, and we'll see. I'll I'll, I'll keep an eye out uh, for when it gets scheduled on how how early it is, of course, for me. Okay. But uh, yeah, right, this cool. is fun, and uh, yeah, hope, hopefully we'll be able to make it again. Okay. Well, I had a lot of fun, y'all. I'm gonna. I get up at quarter till six, so I'm gonna take off here soon. Oh, Got my last last hell class of the semester next or tomorrow. So oh yes. I after today, I'm like I make tomorrow. If, if people need more time finishing their final, I kind of hope they either all get done at once, <laughs> or people take the whole time so I can keep them. Shut up <laughs> for most of it. Like like today, there's a point of me. We finally got them all working, and I'm like, this this was more of a pain than it should have mm -hmm. been. And I'm almost done with them. Luckily, just their last day of high school is not my class. Oh, <laughs> because they have they have they have senior picnic on Friday. Otherwise, the last class they would have on their last day of high school would be my class. And there's no way in hell that would. I think I would survive <laughs> that. You can't just like let them go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. Um, I would love to be able to tell how, like a bunch. I'm just hoping a bunch of them decide to skip. Um, because the, I've got like half of them don't have to take the phone. Oh, wow. And it's the last class mm -hmm. of the day. Oh, yeah. And they're seniors. They're just about done. They're not going to get in trouble. They're not really going to get in trouble. So I'm hoping a bunch of them just leave. Wow. And part of me wants to kind of be like, you could just go. <laughs> But, so I'll take